A warning for parents and school staff tonight about a dangerous internet challenge. Two teenage girls are now facing serious charges after allegedly targeting a boy with special needs. Yeah, so his mom told our very own Caitlin Ross that her son was injured, heartbroken after being humiliated like this. Caitlin Ross joins us right now. So there's a warning for parents out there, right? Absolutely, and you can tell just from the name this one isn't good. It's called the Skull Breaker Challenge, and two people kick the legs out from under the third as they all jump. She says her 15-year-old son has special needs and was targeted for the challenge by two girls he thought were his friends. Brandy Kendall says her 15-year-old son thought they were all in on the joke. Jaden has a heart of gold, and I felt like he was targeted. He has special needs. Of all the people that they could have picked, and they said, let's go get Jaden. She says when her son jumped, the video shows the two girls kicking his legs out from under him and falling backwards into a brick wall. Doctors diagnosed Jaden with a concussion and blurred vision, but she says his heart hurt the most. You could just tell that it was one of his supposed friends and just heartbreak, I guess. TikTok tells 11 Alive it removes the videos with that hashtag from its platform and a search of the website for that challenge redirects users to a page that gives counseling resources. There is no joke about it, and it's not funny. She says TikTok now shows other people warning kids not to do it. When these girls looked this up, they knew exactly what they were, what was going to happen and what could be the consequences. The school referred the video to the White County Sheriff's Office that charged the two girls with aggravated battery and disorderly conduct. Jaden comes to me and he says, Mama, everybody deserves a second chance. And that that really broke my heart more. The school superintendent told me when she saw the video, she immediately referred it, referred it to the police, and she says there will be consequences in school as well. She wanted other educators to be on the lookout for it too, because she says this is happening in schools all over the state. You know, I, I'm wondering if if the app should be held responsible, such as TikTok. I know they can't monitor everything that those kids put on there, but as soon as they see it, I know they took some action. They need to stop it immediately. And they said they don't think this is funny. They don't think people should be getting internet famous from this, and that's why they took those videos down. And I thought it was interesting that they've chosen to redirect people to counseling resources now when they try and search that challenge. Yeah. Absolutely heartbreaking. And you hear mm -hmm. it in that mother's voice talking about her child's mm -hmm. experience. Caitlin, hopefully this will inform some yes. others out there and, and get this to stop yes. and, and show the seriousness of it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much.